we have two sled dogs. One is a real mystery, the other much less so. Today we're going to talk about the dog that's much less of a mystery. Welcome to another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Tremblay. In our last episode, we looked at the mystery that Shiva represents to us, where we don't know where she came from at all. Um, in today's episode, we're going to give the same treatment to Bandit. Um, Bandit has a very different story, because we know exactly where he's from. So uh, today, um, I'm going to talk about Bandit. We've just come out of a real heat wave here in north central Massachusetts and haven't been able to run the dogs for weeks. So we've been doing a lot of hiking, and they've been spending a lot of time just kind of lounging out here in their pen, uh, hanging out in the shade. Uh, so anyway, this is a great opportunity to get. We gave Shiva the treatment, kind of talked about her. Today we're going to talk about Bandit. So Bandit was actually the first dog that came to us out of, out of these two. And so we had gone for several years without any sled dogs, and then we're really kind of looking around for them again. And it turned out that a friend of a friend of a friend on Facebook was looking to rehome a Siberian Husky pup, um, a one-year-old Siberian Husky pup. Happened to be Bandit. So I contacted um, the owners, went up to their house, and I met Bandit for the first time. Now his situation, he was a year old, and he had grown up, they had him, they got him when he was about eight weeks old, and he had grown up as a very pampered and very beloved puppy. He had grown up in a, uh, with a young family with two small boys, and they just doted and devoted, uh, just loved this dog. And so he was really pampered. He had tons of toys, he would wear bandanas, he'd go on birthday parties, um, I mean, he was really, he was beloved. He had a very, very nice puppyhood. Um, unfortunately, they were moving. They couldn't bring Bandit with them, so they were looking for a good home. Little did they, did they know at the time that he would end up becoming um, a real active recreational sled dog. And so I went up there and uh, saw Bandit, saw he was a you know, great puppy, and I brought him home with me. Um, a little bit about his origins is... Bandit, uh, they got him at a mall pet store in southern New Hampshire. So that's where he came from. He was actually in a mall pet store. And so as a young puppy, he's got these riveting blue eyes, and they just really fell in love with him. And so they picked him up. I really think his eyes probably sold him as much as anything else. And uh, that's how Bandit got his home. Um, the paperwork that I did see for him was that he was born in Arkansas. And so I'm going to admit that kind of sends up some red flags for me is uh, when I see you know, a, a pet coming from Arkansas and, and being you know, for sale in a mall pet store, right away I kind of think he was probably born in a puppy mill. Um, I don't know that for a fact, um, but you know, certainly everything kind of indicates towards that. But um, I wasn't concerned with pedigree. I was looking for a pet. Uh, I, I'm familiar with sled dogs, so I, I knew that I wanted to get into recreational sledding again. And so I brought Bandit home. And, um, you know, really within the, yeah, he, he adapted very quickly here and uh, got him into harness, started walking him in harness. Um, a few months later, we got Shiva. Then also we had a team of two dogs. So that's how Bandit came to us. So here he is. So that's, that's about Bandit. And as you can see, he really... He looks the part of what people picture when they think of a Siberian Husky. There's his blue eyes, his black and white markings. So that's how Bandit came to us. Um, he's very, he's like a classic pet line Husky. Um, you know, he, he looks the part. He wasn't bred for racing. He wasn't really bred for, um, you know, for real serious pulling. Um, but as a Husky, he's got it genetically in him and he has worked out really, really well for us. Um, in a future episode, I will contrast Bandit as a uh, kind of like a pet line husky with Shiva, who is much more of a, a racing line or a working line 
type of husky. We'll talk about the difference between them. But that's for a future episode. Bandit is also a real ladies' man. Um, as as close and as devoted as he is to me, um, you know, when when a lady works walks in the room, that's where that's where he goes. Um, his bond with Carrie is really exceptional. And uh, when my sister comes over, or any of our uh, female friends come, Bandit gravitates right to them. He's a real ladies' man. Uh, we'll get Carrie's um, opinion of that in a minute. So, Carrie, what do you think of Bandit? I love him. I love you so much. I love you so much. Look, he said, let me go. <laughs> I love you so much. He is the best dog. <laughs> He's my favorite creature. He's the cutest. He's the sweetest. He's the most lovable. He's the most lovable. Yeah, he is that. He's just the most lovable. Yeah. Yeah, you're so lovable. Well, we're lucky to have him in our lives. I adore him so much. <laughs> He's the focus of my every day. I wake up, I say, what are we going to do with Bandit? All right. Well, thanks for that. Look at him. Look at him. All right, well, let's take him hiking. Yes, we're going to. Shiva, I love you, too. <laughs> I love Shiva, too. Bandit. Well, that's our episode on Bandit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, um, please click like. If you aren't already subscribed, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Um, future episode, I think we'll be doing one, again, as I said, contrasting um, Shiva as a, as a racing line uh, husky and Bandit as a sort of like a, a pet, pet line husky. Um, also, in the meantime, the weather's going to start to cool. We'll start running the dogs again. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you sometime later on the trail.